Good morning. So I have decided that I want to vlog, vlog my prep for my first international solo trip. And I'm going to also vlog the trip. I'm going to get my hair done. Because who wants to be doing hair in the summertime in vacation? I am going on vacation to the Dominican Republic. And who wants to be doing hair? So I am going to go and get some boho knotless braids in a bob because I'm fancy. Um, so I'm going to take y'all with me to go get my hair done. But I have decided that this is going to be a multi-part series. I'm going to show y'all me getting ready, shopping, packing. We're going to go through the airport together we're gonna check in together we're gonna enjoy the vacation together and then we're gonna travel back home together why am i showing you all of this because i want to encourage more women to travel alone i know it's scary i get it and i'm a little little nervous but we can do this we can do this so today in this part one series part one series um, I am going to go get my hair done, but first we got to go get these kiddos and drop them off at summer camp. Then we'll go to the salon, get my hair done, and I got a couple of stops that I need to make when I leave the salon. So I'm going to take y'all with me. Do y'all want to go? You do? Okay, well, come on, let's go. Yes, honey. of Mount Zion Baptist Church in Nashville, Tennessee, baby. And I absolutely love my church. My soul is fed at that church, at this church. I'm happy with the church. They have a incredible summer camp. Not only are they feeding my children, and if y'all didn't see, I have a seven-year-old son named Dylan but I have a eight, soon to be, no, he's already eight, an eight-year-old cousin that me and my cousin are raising like siblings. I call him cousin son. <laughs> um, and they both go to the summer camp at the church. So to see them be poured into spiritually is incredible. But Mount Zion went a step above because they have actual Metro Nashville private school teachers that teach all of the academics that they would be doing in school anyway. So they are summer, excuse me, although it is summer camp, they're doing math, reading, they do science, they have cooking classes, they have dance classes, they put on a production every year to help the kids with their public speaking and their singing for the kids that have those talents. They take them on a field trip every Friday. This Friday, they're going to a outdoor water park pool. They have taken them to Top Golf. They have taken them to the zoo. Um, I think they got some other camps planned. We went last year and this is our second year returning and I can sincerely say that I saw such an improvement in Dylan's prayer life. Do y'all understand at seven years old for him to have a prayer life is incredible for me. For him to understand what Pastor 
a bishop, excuse me, is preaching in church or to start grasping the understanding. I know that's because we are a Christian family and we go to church and we're involved, but it's also because the summer camp is so detailed because it's in a smaller setting to where they can really focus on those kids. And I absolutely love it. I know this is totally random as this is supposed to be a vacation prep vlog. But remember, I told y'all I had to drop the kids off. And um, something else that I find so incredible is that academically wise, they are more than prepared for the grade that they're going into. And I contribute that to not only to what me and my cousin are doing, but also they're, they're still reading all summer. They're doing math all summer. They are doing science all summer. And that's important. Like, yes, I believe the kids should have fun and, and get a break, and they do. But these kids also need to not lose all the knowledge that they have gained in the summertime because we're not doing anything with them as far as keeping their academics in the forefront of their mind. So I'm super excited to have found that camp and been able to be a part of that camp because baby when i tell you the wait list be a mile long so when i see the registration form or notice hit my email count move camp zion is open and ready for applicants baby i'd be the first thing on them my baby will be in that camp until he is too old to go because it is so great but anywho so now I am driving to my salon. So I told you I was going to get my hair done. Um, but if I'm going to pay somebody to do my hair, I'm going to pay my teammate, right? So I'm going to actually go to my salon and let my teammate, Takia, hey girl, uh, braid my hair. She is so dope um, when it comes to braids. And I've never had these boho not list i've never had boho period whether they be long short whatever but i've definitely never done a braided bob and what i have seen some of the girls wearing i want it and i want it real bad and i got some color and i'm kind of going back and forth between wearing all of the colors just putting a little sprinkle here or there i don't know i'm just gonna let takia do her thing because i trust her and i know she's gonna have me cute okay so let me get to the salon and i'll see y'all in a minute let's get ready to get this hair shampoo baby i can't wait say good morning takia good morning <laughs> so here at my salon where we both work we use design essentials products so she is gonna shampoo me, cause baby, when you get your hair done at the ladies' room, start to finish, ain't no coming shampooed, ain't no coming blow dried. Now I could have shampooed myself, I could have, but why? I'm a client today. I'm just, I am just a client. I am not a salon owner. I am not a hairstylist. I don't know who she is. I am not at work right now. I am getting my hair done. It tries me insane. I ain't got a clue, bro. Wait. So what can I say to you? That I'm off day, had to fall back. You got everybody thinking I'm all bad. You know the truth. I was always holding you down. You down. Free cars. I don't know. This nigga's worse off. 
Maybe my son said, reality is turned off. Who the fuck knows? I just make songs. Who am I to sound as how this shit goes? I suck at it, by the way. What is it, the braids? Yes, it's the braids. It's the boho knotless bob braids. And they came out super cute. Takia did an amazing job. So, I don't know about y'all, but when I'm on vacation, I don't want to do no hair. I don't have to worry about nothing but maybe tying it down at night. I want to get in the water. I want to swim around like Ariel and be unbothered and unconcerned about products. Now, I have never had boho knotless anything, so we'll see how they go. But I love, love, love my hair. I believe it is vacation ready. And I love the length. Don't let them tell y'all y'all got to have down to your butt braids because you don't. I love how versatile it is. You can wear it on either side. Oh, if I wanted to pull my hair straight up and wear it in a cute little top knot, I can. Now, y'all know these is a fresh braids, baby, so you can't be doing too much. I ain't trying to pull my hair out. But I am going to make sure that I at least take a scarf. But that's it. That's all I'm taking. I'm going to rinse this hair out when I get out of that water and let it air dry while I'm laid by the pool getting my tan. And I should be good to go, right? Who else hates doing their hair on vacation? I'm all for you wearing your hair how you want to wear your hair. But when I see the girls in full lace fronts where they got a curl and comb every day, I be like, girl, I'm on vacation. I don't want to have to do no real work. I'm here for a break. Anybody else feel that way? braids are my go-to on vacation so now that y'all have watched me get my hair done which for me is the most important part to the vacation because now i'm gonna plan the outfits accordingly right right so this is gonna be part one of my get ready with me for my first international solo travel trip i haven't figured out a title yet but y'all will see it by the time y'all watch this and I am excited for part two. That's when I'm going to start shopping for all of my stuff. Now, I already got some of my outfits and I got a carry-on piece of luggage. I'm not doing no check bags. Something in my spirit is telling me to not check no bag just in case something get lost. I ain't got no time. So part two that I'm going to start filming probably Monday. I'm going to take y'all with me to go get all my stuff. I need y'all's help picking outfits, picking shoes, all of that stuff, okay? So that's part two, but thank y'all for watching part one, and I will see y'all. I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.